Recently I tried to use a Windows app in my Mac with Wine and found out that the serial port didn't work. I started searching for a solution but I found a lot of information and comments on the internet but none of them worked for me. So after a bit of fiddling around I managed to get Wine to see the serial port through USB in my Mac. So I thought this might be helpful to others as well. When you want to try to run a Windows app in OS X, the first thing you need to do is install Wine or one of the other similar softwares available. I chose Wine because it's free and a lot of people seem to be happy with it. Go to winehq.org and download section. Now, if you don't have Quartz version 277 minimum install, you must do that first. When you're ready, go ahead and download the latest stable version. Once download is complete, launch the installer and let it finish as usual. When the installation of Wine is complete, connect your serial port device and open the terminal. Inside your user folder, Wine creates a hidden directory called Wine. Inside one, there is another one called DOS Devices, where we need to create a symbolic link to the device file of our serial port. List the content of your slash step folder to find out the name of the device. In my case, it's tty.usb serial dash and then a number. Most USB to serial cables are going to have a similar name, but just check yours to be sure you get the right one. Now, create a link to that device file inside the DOS devices folder and call it COM1 or any other number you please. Then we have to edit the register in Wine to account for this new device. Inside the Wine package in Applications, you can browse the Contents, Resources, Wine, Bin, where you'll find an executable called Reg Edit for Register Editor. Launch it and a window looking like the typical registry editor of Microsoft Windows should appear. Find a way to H key local machine, then software, wine, and ports, and create a new string key in ports called COM1, or the number you used before. The data for that new key should be the path to your serial device that we found before in your slash dev folder. Once you're done, simply close the window and wine should take note of the changes. After that, I was able to use the serial port in the Windows app with Wine without a problem.